friends, I hope you're having a good day and you're ready to get started on our seal hat. Let's begin by going over our supplies. So the first thing that you'll need is to cut out two circles, one that's three and three quarters in diameter and one that's one and three quarters in diameter. I cut these two out of a manila folder using a circle template that I had handy, but I'll make a pattern for you that has the two sizes just in case you don't have a circle template. You'll also need some yarn. I'm using a very fine lace weight yarn, but sock yarn would work just as well. You can see here right against the penny how fine it is. Just use that as a rough gauge. For your embroidery thread, You'll need two colors, one color to match your pom-pom. This is DMC number 3809, turquoise, very dark. If you want to match my color palette, you can use this thread to help find a yarn color. This color is DMC 154, dark grape, which matches the garnet from my felt color card. The next thing you'll need are a few small elastics. I like these tiny ones used for rubber band bracelets. This is one millimeter crystal cord, which I'm using to make an invisible neckband, but any one millimeter elastic cord will work just as well. So are you ready to get started? Great. First, let's take a quick look at the finished hat before we begin. All right, so now we are on to the pom-pom. So I know it looks like I didn't mention that we needed tacky glue, but this is just a form to wrap our yarn around. You can use any cardboard tube or non-precious round plastic bottle you can find around the house. So for my initial sample, I didn't measure how much yarn I used, but for the pom-pom in this video, I'm gonna wrap about 200 times around this bottle because this yarn is very fine. Right now, I'm just gonna do a small sample so you can see how the technique works, and then we'll move on to a swap out. So this is about 40 wraps. So if you have an X-Acto knife or a little box knife like this, you can just cut through your fibers, uh, being careful not to cut through your container, of course. You can also just sneak up some scissors underneath the fibers because the plastic bottle has a little flexibility. So this little sample isn't quite large enough for what we'll need today, but this one that's about four or five times the thickness is what we'll be using. So you can see here at one end, I have uh, one of our little elastics that's holding the bundle together. And at the opposite end, I've placed another elastic to do the same thing. Now here, I've started to bind the fibers together with thread, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first you wanna thread your needle with a single strand of embroidery thread, and leave a little tail like this before you begin wrapping. You can hold on to that thread with your left hand as you wrap with your right. And once you get the first wrap around and you're still holding on to that thread with your left hand nice and tight, you can pull the embroidery thread around and around, maybe five or six times, nice and tight, and then pull the other end back and tighten it with your hand like this. So now we're gonna to start to stitch through um, the binding that we've made. And what this does is it catches the fibers of the threads that are going through the pom-pom and, and it makes it so that they won't pull out. The other reason I like to use embroidery thread rather than yarn to bind my pom-poms is that the smaller the center binding is, the less visible the center seam is where we've connected our fibers, which is particularly important for small pom-poms. So the next thing you can do is just knot off your thread a few times and trim it, and then we'll move on. So the fun thing about this technique is you can make multiple pom-poms out of the same strip that you've made here. So this would probably make about four. So what we're gonna do is just trim off the uneven edges at one end, and then cut at the midpoint between, between the bindings. I'll set this aside for another pom-pom. So for trimming, you'll need a small sharp pair of scissors 
And what we're going to do here is first, let's just take a look at the way we're holding it. Do you see how there's a the center binding here? So I'm just going to press it together with that binding in the center. And then I'll use my thumb as sort of a guide for cutting around the pom-pom and getting rid of some of those excess fringy bits. So I just run the scissors right along my thumb and it acts like a round soft edge that I can guide the scissors with. So then I'm gonna hold it in the opposite way. So now the binding is between my fingers like this and you should have some more long pieces there that are gonna to wanna to come off. It's a little more egg-shaped at this point. So we'll change it from egg-shaped to round in this direction. And then you wanna fluff up the pom-pom a little bit and you're going to have you know, a few other areas that need a little bit of attention. So you just kinda of look around the pom-pom, see what's sticking out, and do the same technique so you can use your thumbs or thumb and index finger as your guide. So that bit was sticking out a little bit. Looks like we've got a little more here. All right, that's looking pretty good. So let's set that aside and we can start on the base of the hat, our little, our little beret or our tam shanter So take out your two and three quarters inch diameter circle. And you're gonna need a two strand length of embroidery thread here. So I'm just gonna make my knot and we'll get started. So to stitch this, we're going to make a small running stitch that goes all the way around the edge of the hat. I'm probably about a sixteenth of an inch away from the edge and my stitches are mm, some maybe three sixteenths of an inch or something like that. They're smaller than a quarter, but definitely bigger than an eighth. So let's just pick up the pace here and we'll get around this circle and then we can move on to the next step. Speed sewing. Okay, here we go. So now we're gonna put our little one and three quarter inch circle right in the center. And I'm just kind of finger pressing this around the circle because we wanna take that circle out. So I don't wanna, um, and I don't want to completely flatten it with an iron because I still want to see the gathers on the underside of our little hat there. So once you've gone around a few times, you can pull out your cardboard and you'll still have a little bit of an edge here that you can, um, that's sort of holding on to your finger pressing. I'm just gonna hold that down for a second. There we go. And then I will knot off a couple of times here to hold our gathers in place. So that edge we just created with our little three, one and three quarters inch diameter circle, we wanna just hold it in place with a little row of running stitches just right around that circle. Uh, what we wanna do is put our needle through the edge from inside the hat like this So you can see I'm about a sixteenth of an inch away from that edge, and that's where we want our running stitch to be. So we're just gonna go in and out from the top of the hat to the gathered side and go all the way around our little hat here. So whenever I need lots of control over my stitch and my stitch size, like in a place where the stitch is going to be visible, I like to make my running stitches in two passes like this. So I go front to back and then back to front. And then I can make my stitches 
more even than if I were to gather that front and back stitch in one movement. All right, zip, zip. So then you can just knot off your thread. This thread matches so beautifully to the felt that I'm not gonna try to hide that knot. It's right under the edge and I don't think it's gonna show up too much. Okay, so that's our spot for the pom-pom. There it is. So let's thread our needle with two more strands of embroidery floss and make a knot. So let's just fold the hat in half here so that we can find the center. And then you can eyeball the center on that fold. So let's get our knot started on the underside and we'll find the seam on our pom-pom. So that's where I wanna put my thread through for our connection to the hat. Make sure that I get the seam itself so that it stays on securely. So I just do that first stitch there, and then I'm gonna fold the hat and pinch it and do the rest of my stitches on the back side like this. Oops, caught the edge. So we'll just knot off our thread here and we are, we are getting there. So this pom-pom looks very cute. It does look a little bit smaller than that, that one that I made in the first sample. But I think I'm gonna say if you did, so this was about 200 wraps. I'm gonna say maybe like 300 would get you, could get you a similar size to that first one if you prefer a larger pom-pom. All right, so here's that uh, crystal cord. I've knotted one end. Uh, I knotted it with two knots on top of each other just to make, uh, make it a little bit more secure and make a larger knot to um, to hold, hold it in place here. So we're just stitching behind the knot so that when you pull on the cord, um, it will be held in place by our stitching. Okay, trim our thread, trim our cord, and we'll get, the, uh, get a knot ready for the other side, and then we'll try it on the seal. So here's our little guy. So you see how different those pom-poms are? I think mm, you want, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely f another hundred wraps if you're using skinny, skinny thread or skinny, skinny yarn. All right, so we're gonna stretch the crystal cord up around the chin to try to find the right spot to make our knot. So I'm pinching a point right here and I'm gonna make my first knot. I don't wanna make this one too tight because if I want to adjust it, um, I want a little, a little flexibility to do that. So I'm bringing it around and I don't know if you can see, but the knot is more like in line with its, his eyes. So I'm gonna scoot it up a little bit and see where we are. That looks a bit better. So now that when it's stretched a little bit, it's just under the brim. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a second knot on top of that one and pull it nice and tight. Okay. So I'm gonna lay it down on the edge opposite the first one, hide my knot underneath that gathered lip, 
and we're going to stitch this little guy into place. So that is that. We're just going to knot this off and see how it looks. So cute. All right, here we go. The magic. All right, so that is it for our little seal beret or tam o shanter or whatever you choose to call it. He's pretty cute. I can't wait to see your pictures, so definitely post them on Instagram with hashtag CTS Patreon so we can all see what you've created. If you're not on Instagram, you can send them to me in a convo on Etsy or in an email directly. See you next time and happy stitching. Thank you.